just came back from jogging. But why is my heart beating so fast? Let us call Dr. Khart for more details. Dr. Khart, will you please come and explain the circulatory system? Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Khart. Well, the answer to your question is, when you exercise, your muscles need more oxygen and energy. So, your heart starts beating faster. Though the average human heart beats about 70 to 80 times per minute, while exercising, it can increase up to 200 times per minute. Can you believe that? Our heart and blood vessels form the transport system of our body, where our veins and arteries act like the highways and the heart is the controller. The blood, or should I say RBCs, act like mini trucks which carry oxygen, nutrients, carbon dioxide and other waste materials from one place to another using these highways. One drop of blood contains 250 million trucks. Oh, wait, I mean RBCs. Do you know how long the roads or the blood vessels of our body are? Well, if put end to end, the blood vessels are about 100,000 kilometers or 60,000 miles long, enough to take us quarter of the distance to the moon or nearly two and a half times around the earth. In that case, to reach the moon, we will need four people. Do you know which organ cleans our blood? It is our lungs and not our heart. Yeah, our heart is a hollow involuntary muscle that contracts and relaxes and works like a pump. Heart is divided into two equal halves. One sends the stale blood to the lungs and the other sends the oxygenated blood or fresh blood to our body. Well, let me show you. The process starts the moment we breathe in oxygen. The oxygen molecules go to the lungs where they get attached to the red blood cells which then go to the left side of the heart through the pulmonary vein. The left side of the heart gives a big push and squirts out this oxygenated blood to initiate the delivery process. The arteries carry this blood to different parts of our body. RBCs deliver oxygen and nutrients and pick up waste products and carbon dioxide. Now, through the veins, this stale blood goes back to the right side of the heart. The heart sends this deoxygenated blood to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. Here, in the lungs, the carbon dioxide gets detached from the blood cells and is sent out of the body or exhaled through the nose. <sighs> Quite a process. Thank God it's all involuntary. We don't need to control this process. Rather, we cannot. I wonder what would happen if we forgot to breathe or we forgot to remind our heart to pump. So now you know, so much happens between every breath we take. Breathe in, breathe out. We need to take very good care of our health or else there can be a traffic jam on the highways. If we eat too much junk food, the highways can get blocked with cholesterol and the heart can stop working causing heart attack. Some doctors can help remove the blockage, but it is best to ensure that there are no traffic jams. So my friends, eat healthy and stay fit. Here are some interesting facts for you. Blood is not always red. Some animals like octopuses and lobsters have blue blood. Isn't that amazing? Heart can survive for a few hours even after it's removed from the body. This makes heart transplant possible. Why are love and feelings associated with heart? Do we love with our heart or our brain? Well, the heart is just a strong muscle which pumps blood all over the body. Hope you had a nice journey through the highways of our body. Isn't that amazing? <laughs>